say. I learned something about you I never knew, that you were dyslexic yeah. and are dyslexic. No, I, I'm not. No, I'm not. What are you? I'm not dyslexic. What, do you have a problem with reading or writing? No, no I don't. And where did that come from? No. Well, I was labeled with it when I was seven years old and kind of lived with it my whole life. And, uh, you know, when I became a Scientologist back in uh, 86, after 87, uh, later on discovered also L. Ron Hubbard developed study technology that actually to help me realize that that, you know, that the false labels that are out there. Uh, you were never dyslexic? No, no, I wasn't. Why did they label you that? Because that's were what you they do. Were trouble reading? That's what they do. No, and later on, I mean, now we have, uh, you know, this uh, technology that he developed that actually helps people to uh, learn how to learn and discover that, you know, these, I've actually helped people that have been diagnosed with ADD, ADHD, uh, and uh, it's, it's extraordinary what happens with this technology. We have centers all over the world now, uh, you know, that help people get this technology, and it's also in various schools and educated millions and millions and millions of people in it. I interviewed him once. I know, you told yeah. me that. You Great told me that. On science wow. fiction writer. Wow. He Great. writes science oh fiction. My God. What drew you to Scientology? Well, did you grow up in a faith? Different faiths. Uh, different faiths. And uh, what drew me to it, it was so practical, and it just made sense to me. And things that, uh, that I wanted to figure out my life. And uh, I always, I, it, what I discovered were the tools that helped me. You know, Scientology, the word means knowing how to know. And there are tools that I use every day as an artist, as, as a businessman. Uh, you know, you look at it just this way. I was diagnosed as being dyslexic. And I came in, learned these tools. And now, I, you know, I mean, my literacy is, it'll, it is where it is, and it'll go where I want it to go. Uh, with these tools, it just kind of melts, barriers, breaks them down, and helps you to recognize and understand the barriers and then overcome them. And it's so just... you use it in every facet of your life. Yeah, because it, it is, there's areas, you know, you look at what we do with education, with, uh, get, you know, helping people, uh, getting the, these tools. If they're Christian, you know, they can read their Bible. If they're, you know, it doesn't matter, whatever faith, atheist, why, whatever. Why is it so controversial? It's not that controversial. I mean, the eye looks at it. And no, it doesn't. Investigate it. Remember that well, time? Did, they went. They wanted to raid their books. They oh, that was. Get, you're talking decades. Yeah, I decades. Know. I mean, they tried to get them not get get a religious well, had, induction. Well, that's all gone now. I know. I mean, definitely now it does have its. Uh, oh, I know. Religious and but definitely it went recognized that. as a religion. Well, it's it's new. It was a it was a new religion. It's also there's things that that we do. You know, you have to look at, you look at the services and the things that we help. Narconon is something that LRH developed that helps people get off drugs. And once you're off the drugs, you don't ever need those drugs again. And it's the largest drug rehabilitation center in the world. You look at Criminon that, that he developed and found, which actually helps to rehabilitate criminals and used in, uh, was, you know, in some of the toughest prisons in South Africa, and those prisoners have never gone back to the prison. You look at his, the moral, secular moral code that, that he wrote called The Way to Happiness that's used by, uh, you know, communities in the world all over. These things, you know, anytime where there's ignorance on, about something or people don't want to know about something, you know, it really gets back to gossip or, 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 you know, just people don't know something. There you have racism. There you have bigotry. And that's where those things uh, stem from. But when people come in and see what it is, People thank me for the things that, that I contribute to and, and what we do. You look at our volunteer ministers and how they helped at, at the World Trade Center. Is it a faith? Is it a faith? It's an applied religious philosophy is what it is. It's a religion, but it's, it's something that you apply to yourself. You apply to life. Uh, there is, I mean, it's such a wide range of, from a business technology to help someone run their business better tools that you use in your life that help improve conditions. We improve conditions. And uh, those are the things that we do. We educate people on, about the, the realities of drugs. And it's, it's, it's an individual's choice, you know, uh, on, things, on how you want to live your life. What do you want from your life? Do you proselytize? Do you try to get others to come into the movement or into the... Well, it, you know, I talk to people about it. I mean, if you know, if you know how to, I've, I've actually personally educated people and helped them with the study technology uh, to help get them off 
the, you know, these uh, vicious drugs that uh, psychiatrists uh, so, you know, that they prophetize, you know, that they sell uh, to people. Yeah, it's anti-psychiatric, right? Oh, most definitely. Yeah. No, 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 I mean, psychiatry doesn't work. Uh, you look at the things that psychiatry has brought to society. We now are living in a time where we spend over $700 billion a year on education, uh, psych-driven. And wh wh where are we? We have uh, still a decline in, in illiteracy. We know that electroconvulsive shock therapy, you know, drugging people, okay, with, with these vicious drugs. When Prozac came out, it had the... You know, the biggest, uh, I mean, it, in the first few months or year, it had 14,000 complaints on that drug, yet it's still out there. You look at Paxil, okay, that's now banned in the, uh, in the United Kingdom for, eight, for under 18 because of the vicious side effects of those drugs. So here we talk about things that we know, okay, if someone can't read, we know that we can give them these tools and help them to read. And it doesn't matter what religion you are, these things work. If you're on drugs, we can help get you off drugs. If you're a criminal, we can get, there's technology that he developed to help you not be a criminal.